Hello, my name is Jason Chonko and I'm an Applications Engineer at Regal Technologies. Today I'm going to be describing in more detail a new firmware revision enhancement for the Regal DS1000Z series of oscilloscopes. This new firmware revision, 00.04.03SP1, which is available through an authorized Regal distribution or support center near you, enables a or it has a feature that enables deep memory on the FFT so I'd like to show you exactly what that does uh, on the display of the oscilloscope in this case I've got a 10 megahertz signal coming in you can read the frequency readout here uh, so 10 megahertz frequency coming in I'm gonna press the math key and then I'm going to enable math uh, set it up for FFT as the operation then I'm going to set the uh, or turn the operation on and you'll see now we've got an FFT, uh, Fast Fourier Transform breakdown of this 10 megahertz signal. We see all of the odd harmonics here. And we can adjust the uh, horizontal division as well as the offset. And what I'd like, you, like to show you though, you can see the peaks, but then in between the peaks we don't really have a lot of detail. And we'll go down to the second page in the menu and you'll see that the mode is set at trace. Now we can expand that to memory and now you'll see that we have the peaks that we had before but now there's quite a bit more horizontal detail available that's because when we're using the trace we're actually calculating on the displayed data and when we go to memory we're going to be using a larger data set and so when we have a larger data set we have more higher resolution in the frequency space and so you can see now we've got quite a bit more detail I'm going to bring up the reference um, which I saved earlier and you can see the comparison between the uh, high resolution memory uh, memory FFT, memory based FFT, and the displayed based FFT. Uh, it can be very useful if you need to have a higher resolution and be able to see smaller details of your FFT analysis. Hope you find that helpful. If you need that firmware revision, just contact your local Regal support. Thank you.